sometimes it doesn't pay to be that detail. But let me give you an example. Here's a classic example of how to make the line art better in one stage than another. Right here, see this line? This isn't the original pencil. Let me pull up the hair. Close up this, pull up the hair. I meant to delete this earlier. See this line right here? It's a great line that helps describe this curve, but it also confl conflicts with this here and this here. I don't know, I don't like that. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that after this point. So I'm going to click this one here. And I'm going to just add a point right there. Oh, I actually did add a point. Sweet. So, because I thought I was going to do this. So, delete that. Delete that. See, now we've got another line segment. And uh, there you go. And I think that looks like a better line. Because it looks like that clump of hair here is coming from up underneath that. Rather than, oh, gee whiz, it's going to go past this. Because this to me seems like one giant clump. And I probably should collect, connect to this right here. But I don't know. Sometimes it's, it's a maze swing out what the artist intended. Well, let me go ahead and show you something over here. One of these, yeah, like, uh, let me think. Yeah. Let me do this big portion of hair right here. That'll be good. Click on Mary Jane. I'll show you how to do a large area. Now, most people can just go, oh, I'm just going to do, oops, yeah, that's right, I got an anchor point. Most people just go ahead and you know, drag them, I don't know, sometimes I drag them right from the beginning. Sometimes I got to do so much darn adjusting after the fact that I don't even bother doing the adjustments later. You can always come back with an anchor point tool and make these decisions later on. And I'm going to go here, option click to drag the point around. And another thing, I'm very distracted by that black shape that forms as you're drawing it, so I turn that off usually. Draw that. Draw that. And here's another thing I'll discuss in a second. Um, there's the Bezier curves. And this, I'm going to correct this curve because there's something about that curve I don't like, and I'll discuss one in a minute. It's something I've learned that I think creates a more elegant curve. And that is, do not make a curve. See how the handles, where is it? Well, this handle shouldn't be, if, you, if your curve comes across the handle, and it should be a curve like this, then you probably got the curve, you probably got the point at the wrong place. In other words, if you want this point, if you want to, when you have the curve handles, make sure that one of the handles doesn't cross, when your curve is doing this, where it curves underneath the handles, don't have one of the handles in here. I think it makes an uglier curve. So in other words, if your handle is like this, Unless you're trying to make an S curve, don't try to do this through a regular curve. Pull it back so that the line goes across it. I think it makes a much attractive looking curve. So if you find yourself with a curve that does that, you probably did the wrong thing. In my humble opinion, let me lock down the photo layer again. Otherwise, I'm going to click on it every time I click away. All right, here we go. And come on, where are you? Little shape, where are you? Where'd the shape I just drew go? All right, that's amazing. I guess I deleted the shape. Oh, it registered as being on the bottom layer. Jeez. All right, well, go here. Drag up to Mary Jane's layer. There we go. Now I close that off. Lock it down. There we go. Now in Mary Jane's layer. That's what happened. Somehow got in Mary Jane's layer. All right, now we're going to take this and make a conversion points. So do that. Do this. Oh, okay. Here's another thing I like doing. If you've got a peak, put a point. Oh, come on. There we go. I always drop a point in. Drag it there. And then 
this one and make the adjustments to later. This way I can have half the curve guaranteed. And bring that there. Bring this up here. Okay, that's not a bad curve. I don't know, I'm not 100% satisfied with it, but if I bring it back, so I'll probably like it better. There we go, much better. And I think I should be able to do this one. Now, the whole point of what I was doing here, there we go. See, I don't really like crossing over like that. That's okay. I'll drop a point here and make it all better. <laughs> there we go. See what I mean about that a, a light curve that crosses a curve? I don't like that. That usually means the point's in the wrong place. I don't know. If I wanted to resolve it, I probably could resolve it. I think part of the problem is that this one curves that way, and that causes the whole curve to be thrown off. I don't know. I've just found it makes better curves when you don't do that. Anyway, there's our shape. Let's fill it on the black. Make sure that's actual. See, it's doing that black thing again, where it's doing the, the wrong shade of black. That's okay. I'll fill it in. Regular. And there we go. And this is the one last thing I want to show you, and that is how I do this down here. Because as you can see from the original, he just drew little lines. Little lines. Boom, 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 boom. Now, I could draw those as lines, but I think I'm going to do them a little differently. It looks sharper if you do this. Click in here, here. I'm doing my little technique of the zigzag line, so I'll have to draw a million lines when I'm done. And these are going to have to be adjusted because these lines are really narrow to each other and then they're really tight here. I don't know. Alright, now I'm going to switch off that, switch to rounded tip, 25, uh, well half will be fine because I'm going to tweak them anyway, but 25, let me zoom into here, and there we go, now I'm going to start breaking up these lines, make them more regular, then we'll put the curves, oh maybe we'll, we'll curve in some of these, yeah these are curved. So this is the hazard of going back and doing it again, because now see how it happens? You have to go back, and if you have to backtrack yourself, it grays out your other ones that you've already been on. So that's why I prefer not to do that. All right. Now we're going to make the actual final adjustments to these. All right, click on this. Bring this back to here. See, my goal is to get them right in the middle of the of the lines. See that one actually looks curved and the other ones don't, so I'm going to drop that there. Yeah, they're slightly curved at the tip. And again, the decision I'd have to make at this point would be do I want to curve them? And I think I do because that one's curved, so I think I'll curve them here. I think this one's going to go this way. I think I got the trick of this. Yeah, that's what's going on here. <laughs> it's assuming that the lines are facing opposite directions because I drew them in opposite directions, which is absolutely crazy because a line is a line, but there you have it. I guess they have an upstream and a downstream. Anyway. I'm going to adjust these very carefully. And I'll show you how to do one line. What I do would make this all kind of sharp looking. All right. Now, no, actually, I'm turn them on one more time. There we go. I need a point where I can anchor it, so I'm going to grab the width tool, and I'm going to 
interpret. Okay, how wide am I going to make this? Probably about that wide right there. Perfect. Do the same with this one back here. Too wide. Do that. There we go. And again, same here. Make it wide. Same here. Make it wide. And then, of course, adjust the curves as necessary. Because it's way too curvy at, at this point. And usually I'd, I'd go ahead and draw the lines first and then make them thicker. Just so you can see where you're making the thicknesses to. But I think at this point it really doesn't matter because we've already got kind of the lines already drawn. Oh, come on. Oh, I hate it when it does that. There we go. And that's kind of a starting point. I don't like the curve, tips curve, but as you can see, what it does, it creates a nice effect like what you got over here. But it still does it over there. I might go ahead and make the ends thicker than what the lines are showing, the pencil lines, just because, I don't know. I want it to look like there's coming out with little white wedges. You have to think about the negative space, too. It's not just about drawing the line. It's also about drawing the negative space for the line. That's a better line. I'm going to drop that out for right now. Sometimes, like I said, you don't want to be distracted by the the pencil lines. You want to make sure you actually see. Ah, see, that's much, much better. Like that. And like that. And if it's, it's not an exact science, I mean, if a little bit of it's off, if a little bit of it's off, it's one thing. Oh, come on. Sometimes you get so close. Oh, man. Sometimes you get so close to a line. Oh, it keeps picking up on other lines. Come on. There we go. And then it's just a trial and error process of adjusting and seeing how it works. That's kind of the general idea. And then there's some parts that look too skinny, too wide. And then you just adjust them as ne ne necessary. And that gives you some nice, nice shapes. See what I mean by that shape being crooked? It doesn't look quite right there. It looks a little wonky, and I bet you that's what the handles are there. Funny things that they do with the handles there. Yeah, well, anyway. So that's just kind of the general process. It takes a while to get it all right. Make sure it looks good and the tips don't look crooked and everything. Getting the curvature of the lines just right. So it looks like it's... See, that looks too curved. Oh, well. Constant adjustment. And that's what you do. Just do that and constantly adjust it. Keep the original pencils handy for reference, but don't fall too much. See, that, that's where the problem is. This line's too far to that side. There we go. See how much better that looks. That looks way better. Nice. Wait a minute, I'll just keep tweaking on that, and uh, that gives you the general idea. Thanks for watching.